Good morning, everyone. How are you? I'm Pastor Jin of Little Falls United Methodist Church. I'm here to share with you the daily devotional with the upper room. I hope this devotional helps you with your daily journey with God and fellowship with Jesus Christ today. Today is May 4th, 2021, Tuesday, and the theme of today's devotional is Spiritual Connection. The scripture is 2 Peter uh, chapter 1, verses 3 through 8. His divine power has given us everything needed for life and good godliness through the knowledge of Him who called us by His own glory and goodness. Thus He has given us, through these things, His precious and very great promises, so that through them you may ask, escape uh, from the corruption that is in the world because of lust and may become participants of the divine nature. For this very reason, you must take, you must make every effort to support your faith with goodness and goodness with knowledge, and knowledge with self-control, and self-control with endurance, and endurance with godliness, and the godliness with mutual affection, and mutual affection with love. For if these things are yours and are increasing among you, they keep you from being ineffective and unfruitful fruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Another scripture is First uh, Thessalonians chapter five verses sixteen through eighteen. Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances. For this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Amen. Today's story is from Linda, who lives in Illinois. The older I get, the more I try to maintain a healthy body by eating well and getting regular physical exercise. However, there are days when Grabbing a fast food meal is more appetizing and easier than cooking a healthy meal at home. And the thought of sitting on my sofa, catching up, catching up on one of my favorite shows is more appealing than ch changing my cloth, clothes and driving to the path where I take my 40 minutes after dinner walk. I know that in the long run, I will feel better and be happier with myself if I put in the extra effort. But it takes discipline to get those rewards. The same can be said about my spiritual health. It takes discipline to make the extra effort to maintain a close relationship with God. There are so many dis distractions in our world, and sometimes it takes diligence to turn away from things like checking emails and social media and to settle into prayer and Bible reading. Today's quoted scripture reminds us that God wants us to rejoice, pray, and give thanks if we make the effort to set aside time to do this daily. Our reward can be a healthy spiritual connection with God. Yeah. As she said, it is not easy. Mm, to discipline ourselves, eating good food, healthy food, and have the regular exercise. 
Many people just say, yeah, we know that. And we would like to eat a healthy food and we'd like to um, ex do exercise regularly. However, not many people can do that. To make that kind of um, routine, we need to discipline ourselves. It is not easy actually. As she said in this, it, I mean, it requires uh, the extra efforts because our body, our mind just goes where we want, more appealing, more uh, distracting things. Actually, it is same in our life, the spiritual life, I mean, our faith journey. You know that, I mean, we know that we, to know God, um, to know God, we have to read the Bible and take the moment with Jesus Christ. And we should practice and carry out our mission work, life work, life uh, life ministry or church ministry, whatever it is. However, even though we have that kind of heart in our mind, in our heart, but still we need uh, we need to discipline ourselves to set that things. We just think about yes, I have to read, read the Bible, read the Bible. I have to pray every day, kinds of that. However. It's not happen. It it doesn't happen when you, uh, unless you uh, you don't discipline yourselves. But you know what? We need the spiritual discipline for our life, for our soul, and for our future and the presence. God loves you. And God wants you to go on right path with God. And to have a good relationship with God is the best practice for us. And it is very important in our faith journey. That's why we have this devotional every day. That's why we would like to read the Bible and, or devotional books. We would like to pray to God every day, every time. We would like to come to the church every Sunday. We would like to work for ministries of the church or in our lives. It is, I mean, we need discipline. I would like to uh, encourage you and recommend you, please, Take the details plan. Set the time, set the place. And you can make the check risk, uh, checklist. And please do that. Maybe you can uh, set the goal to attend the church every Sunday worship. You can set the goal reading the Bible, just one chapter or 10 verses every day. You can set the goal of praying for 5 minutes, 3 minutes, or every other minute. You can try to help others and join in the ministry of the church. You can set that kinds of goals and practice it. Our faith is not just with word. Our faith is comes with our our faith comes with our action, our lifestyle, and our efforts to do good things and wonderful things. It is very important for us to discipline ourselves. So let's do that for our healthy relationship with God, the healthy spiritual connection with God. Let us do that. Let's pray. Dear Lord, help us to quiet the distraction so that we can spend 
precious time with you. Lord, we are here before you, and we would like to follow you, and we want to see you. We want to have the close relationship with you and right relationship with you. Please be with us and help us and let us be with you and let us follow you. Let us discipline ourselves. Please help us. Thank you, Lord, for your love and grace. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. I hope you have a good day and I will see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. Bye-bye.